Everyone said being 6'3 would make dribbling a challenge, and that I'd struggle to adapt. Yo, you think I should switch to 6'3? Uh, no, you shouldn't switch to 6'3. Six, 6'3, three. Six, three, like, dribbling is harder, and also you need to pass more and stuff. If you ever want to, like, become a good dribbler in lock, and you just, like, want to be good at the game, do not go to 6'3 for dribbles. If you want to dribble, have fun, feel free and roam around, just go on 5'3. And you need to know being top timing and all that. Your dribbles will be better, you'll have good flicks, but on the 6'3, you're going to be slow, but you can still hide abuse with chest traps. But what if they were wrong? You see, in lock, different heights give you way different advantages, but I mean, it's really all about timing. After switching to 6'3, I had to learn how to dribble effectively with my entirely new height. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I time my dribbles and use my reach to counter opponents. Let's get straight into it. There's tons of different dribbling techniques that I've actually learned after switching to 6'3. And the first one I'm going to go ahead and show you guys is bean topping. Now, as you can see in the bottom left right here, I am athlete. And the best trait to actually be bean topping is bunnies. But if you are going up against somebody that doesn't have athlete or bunnies, because they both do give you a jump boost, you are going to bean top them every single time. So let me go ahead and show you what you actually look like bean topping. So a lot of people get confused about bean topping and just jump whenever. They'd be like, go do this, jump, spam at one, and then be confused on why they don't get it. Because like I said, in Locked, everything is just timing. No matter what you do, no matter what height you are, no matter what weapon you run, it's all timing. So with bean topping, you wanna jump as the ball reaches its peak, so it'll look like this. And then you want to M1 as you're falling down, so like this. But after you do that, you might start to notice that some good short players will just wait on you, hold their M2, jump, and kick the ball away. So what you want to do is you actually want to turn. So you're going to implement everything I just taught you, and you're going to turn with the dribble. Just like that. So if somebody's right here and they go to jump and wait on you, you're easily going to be able to move maneuver around them. And this is not just a one time, one trick thing. You can do this whenever you want, however you want, and you can do it multiple times. But just remember, bunnies, you can only do it twice or three times, I'm not sure, before you do actually get jump fatigue. So you can just continuously dribble with this like this. And that is the first dribble that I actually do know from switching to 6-3. Next is flicks. You need to be 5-3 to actually use flicks, but that is not how we're going to do it in this video. So you can also do this on 5-10 very easily, but I like doing it on 6-3 because I get more power with my shots. So a flick is basically just the same thing. You're going to flick, but then you're going to realize this goes so far over. It's kind of the same thing as a 5-3 flick. As you can see, it definitely still works, but this is easily blockable. Like, let's be honest. I mean, that's easily blockable and you can only go one way. So to counter this, you're going to jump and chest trap. I know it sounds weird, but let me go ahead and show you because once you see it be done, then it's probably going to come to you. It's probably going to click and you're probably going to understand it. So something like this. Just like that, you can also go ahead and shoot formlesses off of it like this. So that is already two dribbling styles that I can go ahead and teach you. And the next one is kind of robotic, but it's ground dribbling. Now ground dribbling can actually help a lot because if you're able to set up a form by ground dribbling and go ahead and shoot and score like that, that'd be absolutely perfect. So now you can go ahead and let the ball go a little bit up. So it's like you're mimicking a flick, but in general, you're really not. You're just ground dribbling, but you're letting the ball go as far as you can before you actually have to jump to reach it. So something like this. Or this. So ground dribbling can definitely help out a lot. So now let's go ahead and head into some autos matches and let's just have some fun. All right, here we go. We have four people in each thing. It's four before I'm running striker. Let's get straight into it. Look at the squad walking up, yo. Let's see them. Shido. Ooh, they got Shido on their team. That looks lit. I wonder if this guy's rocking formless like me. No matter because Shido's about to get bean topped. Here's his ball. Come on. Come on. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and bring a defender over here. And I see you, my boy. Wide open. Hit that jump. Oh heck no! Oh 
heck no? What am I look? Oh, we got that. Give me this. Yep. This ball's out of here. Why can't he pass to the AFK kid? You're having a laugh. Dang. I didn't even know he had that. I got you back. Come here. Go ahead and get that. Oh, no, bro. I can't pass the ball. I'm sorry, bro. I can't pass the ball, bro. If I pass the ball, we finna lose, yeah. <laughs> Give me that. Green bean. This guy's astonished. Yo, this guy's on 2K ping. All right, here we go. They just actually went ahead and score. You know, maybe, maybe he's just truly lagging. Come on, right here. Oh my God, he bean. Oh. Give me that. Give me that. Boom, son. Pass it over. Come on, give it to one of your teammates. No, I'm here, man. I'm here. Where are you going? Don't run. I'm here. Oh, uh, come on, teammate. Nice, get slide. Down line, down line. Oh my God, my teammate's a genius. Oh, shoot. Dragon drive in it, Brock. Oh, GK blocked it. It's all right, we got it. And you know what? Oh, shoot, he popped Godspeed. And he's gone. He's out of there. That's all right, because RGK is different. RGK is different. We got this. Yep, RGK got that. Yep, give me that. I'm going to knock my water off. Oh, my God, hold on. Okay. Whew. Jesus, man. Right, this guy's a little 5'3", bro. Green guy, bro, I can't pass. Okay, you know what? I can, I can kind of trust this guy. Back right here. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yep, give me that. It's all mine. That's all mine. Let me show you how it's done, matter of fact. Yeah, it's over, bro. I might as well just quit the game. We just let low mass money one score on us, but it, it's okay. Why is this guy hitting the gritty? Hold on. Hit the L dance on. Look at me. Come here. Oh, wait. He's just finished off. I forgot I'm down. Give me that. Come on. Crucify. Come on. Oh, we locked in now. He got formless, though, so I need to be careful. Don't let him get it. Nice, get steal right here. Come on, give me that. Come on. You gotta give me the ball, you gotta stand. Oh, it's so over, it's so over, it's so over. Come on. Nah, it ain't over till, oh, I'm just gonna blast right past this guy. Boom, bean top, flick, bean top. So yeah, guys, I actually don't know what happened to the recording, but I actually ended up winning that game 17 to three. Stop the cap. <laughs> All right, well, I do want to go ahead and thank you guys for all the support and watching all the way through on this video. I did actually just get monetized, which means you can now super chat and I make money off YouTube. So thank you guys so much for the support. I'm also going to be dropping a Discord server insanely soon, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And remember, any super chat comments get pinned and any donations or anything go straight back into the content. Now, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.